I'm David Byrd. Constitutional experts have been testifying all day to the House Judiciary Committee while Speaker Nancy Pelosi asked the rank and file a simple question. We get more from AP's Washington correspondent, Sagar Megani. Are you ready? The answer was a big yes as Democrats met behind closed doors. But as the House Judiciary Committee held its first impeachment hearing, a GOP witness said Democrats are not ready. George Washington University law professor Jonathan Turley says he's no Trump supporter, but there's no case yet for impeachment, and Democrats are rushing to find one. We're all mad. Where has that taken us? Will a slipshod impeachment make us less mad? But Harvard's Noah Feldman was among three other scholars who say the evidence fits what the founding fathers feared, a president abusing his office, and fits their remedy impeachment. President Trump has committed impeachable high crimes and misdemeanors. Sagar Magani, Washington. Meanwhile, President Trump accused Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of being two-faced Wednesday after Trudeau and other NATO leaders appeared to have made comments critical of Trump. A recording of a reception Tuesday night at Buckingham Palace shows Trudeau huddling with Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Princess Anne, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, and French President Emmanuel Macron. Trudeau was overheard apparently commenting on Trump's lengthy impromptu exchange with journalists, during which the president had said Trudeau was perturbed over his remarks that Canada is not fulfilling its NATO financial commitments. Elsewhere Wednesday, NATO leaders released a statement promising to focus more attention on the challenges posed by Russia and by rising superpower China. For more on these stories, please visit our website, voanews.com. This is VOA News. Dr. Tetsu Nakamura, who devoted decades of his life to helping people in Afghanistan, has been killed along with five others in a gun attack on his vehicle near Jalalabad. Reuters correspondent David Doyle reports. Nakamura had been involved in rebuilding Afghan irrigation and agriculture and had recently been granted honorary Afghan citizenship for his decades of humanitarian work. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said he was shocked at the death. Dr. Nakamura has made many contributions in the field of medicine and irrigation. It is very shocking to hear that he has passed away in such an incident. No group has yet claimed responsibility, but a spokesman for the Afghan Taliban said the militant group was not involved. A local official said police are searching for the gunmen, adding that he believed Nakamura was targeted because of his work. That's David Doyle of Reuters. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani called Wednesday for the release of any unarmed and innocent people who were detained during protests against gasoline price hikes after two weeks of violent protest and demonstrations. Francesca Lina has details. Violent clashes erupted in mid-November after the government abruptly raised fuel prices by as much as 300 percent. Tehran has given no official death toll, but Amnesty International said on Monday it had documented the deaths of at least 208 protesters, making the disturbances the bloodiest since the 1979 uprising that swept Shiite clerics to power. The struggle of ordinary Iranians to make ends meet has become harder since last year, when US President Donald Trump withdrew the United States from Tehran's nuclear deal with six world powers and reimposed sanctions that have further crippled Iran's oil-based economy. That's Francesca Lina reporting. A private study finds that there was weak job growth in November. The AP's Ed Donahue reports. Payroll processor ADP says 67,000 jobs were added in November, barely half the gain in October. Manufacturers, construction and mining companies cut a combined 18,000 jobs. Companies with fewer than 20 employees also slashed payrolls. It's not clear if this is a trend, but if it continues, the jobless rate could rise from its currently very low level of 3.6 percent. The ADP data wasn't affected by the strike at General Motors. The return of workers is expected to increase job gains in the government report. Ed Donahue, Washington. For more on these stories and the rest of the day's news, visit our website, voanews.com. I'm David Byrd, VOA News.